Welcome everyone, this is Professor Smith bringing you another Hebrew study. In the book of Zephaniah, there is a prophecy that our Heavenly Father will restore to the earth a pure language. We understand that Hebrew is the closest derivation of that pure language. Let's explore it together. Shalom, and let's get started. Okay, folks, uh, we are back with another Hebrew study. Uh, we've been progressively trying to work through this uh, lesson here. Shior, Arbaim, V'achat. And so that's how we say uh, lesson, Shior. And then uh, remember, it's 40s plus 1. So we're getting uh, Arbaim. Remember, singly, it's Arba for 4. But Arbaim is like you're adding multiples of 10 to it, and then, uh, yeah, ve'echot, uh, so it's shi'or arbe'im ve'echot. All right, so uh, with that, uh, let's take a look at more, once more at our, um, at our vocabulary here, and remember, um, I always use uh, the Google Translate, and um, because uh, we want to get the proper phonetic, we don't have the benefit. Now, in here, they give you the nikud, which are the vowel pointings. Uh, but uh, typically, you notice uh, in all of this here, there's no new code. So uh, this is why uh, a good, uh, you know, app, Google Translate will help you. Uh, and so this one, far, Rauk, Rauk. Yeah, it means far away. All right, let's get our volume up there. Rahok. Rahok. Okay, so it's also useful to write these. Rahok. So Rahok uh, would be like this. We have a chet, we have holem, and then we have, okay, so uh, now this might be, uh, there would be like an A-class uh, vowel here, and here's an O-class vowel, and it ends with a kof, so Rahok. All right, and then... Uh, Karov, uh, uh, and so Karov would be like not far, looks like. Uh, Karov. Yeah, close. Karov. Karov. So think of it, you've got Karov for close, Karov. and then Rahok for far. And, you know, one of the ways you can remind yourself about how this works is... Uh, you know, they look similar. All right, then F Shar, it is possible. Monit is a taxi cab. Uh Hatakana Hamerkazit. Hatakana Hamerkazit would be like the, the central station. Uh Acharon uh is uh let's see, I think that one is the end, the end point. Acharon. Yeah, the last. So long. It's with a het. No, it almost looks like Aaron, but Aaron is spelled with a hey. That's a het. Okay. Uh, and then, so then we have um, Rashon would be um, Rashon. Maybe it's Rishon. 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 Yeah, first. Rishon. Yeah, this would be like, uh, there would be like a hierarch here. Um, actually, there might be a hierarch under here. That's probably where it's at. So um, uh, basically, remember, we're using this to figure out where the vowel pointing is. This would definitely be a whole M. And then it ends with a noon sofit. So reshown. Uh, so then we have, um, let's like, um, Musei Shabbat, Musei Shabbat. Let's take a look at that. Musei Shabbat. I might have to get that phonetic again. Yeah, Saturday night. 
Mutsei Shabbat. Let's look at Mutsei. In this case, there would be a shurik. They got a U sound, Mutsei. Mutsei Shabbat. Mutsei Shabbat. Okay, so that's like Saturday night. Uh, and that's the same thing as uh, Shabbat Ba'arev, in the evening of Shabbat, okay? How about this one? Yahol and Yahola is a can. Can do. It's like, uh, can you do something? Um, how about this here? We've got uh, Chutz Maze, aside from this. Uh, let's see. And almost, this is almost like open from this. Because if you look at Hoots, I think that means outdoors. Hoots. Yeah, outside. Hoots. Hoots. It's also used, this word is also used to describe the outdoors. So it's like outside from this. Hoots maze. And then we have uh, Lachachat. Lachachat. And then lo. Keach, which is to take, and then we have uh, the various forms of taking. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Tamid Efshar Lechachat Monit. So you can always take a cab. All right. So, uh, so that's our vocabulary. And uh, now they want us to complete these. Um, Remember, we did this first part here, and uh, it's quite difficult uh, to do this. Uh, but I'm going to attempt to see if I can get these filled in properly. And in the process, I'm just going to be learning the language. So uh, this is like fill in the blank type exercises. Okay, so Iran Vasuzi. So that's those are the two we were talking about. Blank. Uh, look at this one. Mechak uh, Mafos. Mehak Mafos Shell Universita, okay. Mehak Fos. Let's see here. Let's put that in there better. That one, I think I remember seeing that somewhere. Let's take a look at that. Nope, it's not that one. So I'm going to have to. Uh, Put it in there manually. Oh. Meha campus. Meha campus. I should have recognized that. That's right. Meha campus, which is the campus, the university campus. And so if you take this mem, it means from ha campus. Yes, the university campus belonging to Universita Tel Aviv. Okay, so, um, so what are they doing? Aaron the are are they going? Are they attending? Let's see what uh, what they've got. What they've given us up here. I don't see anything that would fit in there. So uh, and now I, what I would think is um, now it could be they're going from the campus of Tel Aviv. They're going from. So it could be they're like they're like um, leaving. Let's see here. What can we find? I think what it is is motorized. They're leaving from. And I seen a word up here that I think reflects that one time. Let's see if we can find it here. That Reho boat is a, a city, I know that. Now, there's one a possibility here. This is to travel. Linsoa. I wonder if we could put that Linsoa in there and see what, what the answer key is. Eran Vesuzi Linsoa. Meha Campus. Shell Universita Tel Aviv.
ערן וסוזי לנסוע מהקפוס של אוניברסיטת תל אביב. See here, let's get this straightened out. Um, how about we just put um, Nosea? Iran and Susie traveled from the campus of Tel Aviv University. I wonder if that would work. Iran and Susie Nasua Mehakfus Shel Universitat Tel Aviv. Nosea are traveling. They they travel. Now that's actually in the in the uh past tense. Uh, so uh, I'm going to just put that in there and see. All right, now let's let's see what the answer key says and see what we can come up with. Um, okay, so here's the answer key. Uh, so Iran Vesuzi. Oh, look at this one. Yotzim. Mehakampu Shell Universita Tel Aviv. Okay, so Yotzim. So that's what they wanted in there. Yotzim. Going out. Yotzim. Okay, so they're going out from a campus. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Uh, see, Shell Universita. This is the campus belonging to the university. Universita Tel Aviv. Are going out from the the uh, campus. All right. Okay. So, uh, ham blank the autobus letakana amerkazit. Okay. So um, they are. I I would say in this case they are going to. Or uh, yeah, this is in with or on. I wonder if it is um, blank. Uh, they on the bus. Letakana hamerkisit. I wonder if it's lean soa that goes in there. Let's try that. Hamelin saw the autobus letakana hamerkazit. Hamelin saw the autobus letakana hamerkazit. Okay, so uh, if you, if they, we say they travel by bus to the central station, um, we could put uh, let's put lean saw in there and try that. Okay, Hamlin Soa, the autobus, La Takana Amerkazit is the central station. Okay, so let's see what our answer key says. All right. Uh, oh, look at this. I got, I was close to it. Ham no seem, the autobus, La Takana Amerkazit. So they are no seem. I did get the right verb, but it's not they to travel by bus, as in they are. Uh, what it's saying is it's in the present. They are traveling. They are traveling. Okay, so it's no seem. Hem no seem. Okay. Okay, so it's in the present. They are traveling. No seem. And notice how it's the plural form here. No seem. They are traveling by bus to the central station. Okay. All right. So that's uh, that. Well, uh, you know, getting closer. Okay, let's see here. Okay, uh, so uh, this is what we had here, no seam. So now let's go down here and take a look at what we have here. Metakana America Z. So the central station, uh, from the central station, they what? Uh, Lirho vote. So uh, 
I think that um, I'm going to put that Rucko vote in there. Rucko vote. Yeah. Rucko vote. And I think that Rucko vote is the name of a city. I've heard that before. But um, because it doesn't really make sense from the central station, they are traveling to the streets. Because I know that Rakhov is... Uh, so what I'm going to do is put... Uh, I remember that that uh, town being in his, in Israel. Yeah, there it is. It's a city in Israel, Rehovo. So I think that's what they're going for. Uh, but it can be easily confused uh, with uh, Rehov, which is city, and it's in the central district of Israel, about twenty kilometers south of Tel Aviv. So that makes sense with the story. Okay, so what's going on here? Uh, they've got Meha Tahana America Zit. So this is Central Station from Central Station. Notice this mem means from, and then Tahana uh, America Zit. They him they are what? So I would say they are traveling or going to. So uh, would it be no seam again? Let's try. Meha takana hamerkazit hem no seam lerhovot. Yeah. Meha takana hamerkazit hem no seam lerhovot. On the central station, they go to Rekovo. That sounds good to me. So let's put uh, no seam in there. It means to travel to. Okay, so uh Takana, America Zit Hem, no seam, uh So they are traveling to how about let's just do the second one here. Ze Otubus. Uh look at this one right here. This autobus is the autobus Yashar. Oh, look at this. The autobus Yashir. Yashir. The autobus Yashir. Okay, there's a new one I just learned. Yashir means direct. So there's no connections on this bus. Is that autobus Yashir? The autobus Yashir. Okay. Who? Now I bet you that this is in reference to the bus. It's the pronoun in reference to the bus. It. And basically, it would be like it. It what? Blank. It goes from what? Uh, from, let's see here, blank. Shell Tel Aviv. Okay, I bet you, I guess it's, I guess it's, it's the university. From the university, uh, Shell Tel Aviv. Let Takana America Zit. So I'm going to put uh, university in there. Meha University. Meha Universita. Meha Universita. Come on. Meha Universita. There we go. From the university. Meha Universita. Okay, so from the university, so we have a hey here. Remember, this is all connected. So we're going to put Universita. With a uh, vet. Uh, Resh. A samic, And a tet. And then a hey. Okay, Meha Universita. Shell Tel Aviv. Belonging to Tel Aviv. Uh, to the central station belonging to what? I bet you it's Rehovot. 
And so I think I got this right. Let's see. Okay, so now we should have, uh, it is traveling. I So I bet you it's no seam again. Let's put no seam. Because that's motorized conveyance, no seam. Okay, so what we have here is Zef Udubus uh, Yashir, which is, this is a direct bus. Who no seam, it is traveling. Meha Universita Shell Tel Aviv La Takana Hamirkazit Shell Rehovot. Okay, belonging to it's traveling to Rehovot. Okay, so let's see what our answer key says here. Uh and well, let's just finish this up here because uh Metakana uh, Universita. So uh from the central station of the uh Ha Otu Bosim. So the the uh the central uh buses from the station of the buses from the station shell rahovot ham hokalim hokhim olahim okay ham hokhim baregel la bait shell iran okay so i think what's being said here is from the station the bus station belonging to rehovot they go they are going but it's by foot it's not motorized conveyance and how are they going? Baregel, on foot. They are walking by foot uh, to Lebait. Uh, now, I think this is probably Lebait because it's not a noun plural. Lebait shell, Iran. So, to the house belonging to Iran. Okay, so we should have no seam here. We should have no seam here. We should have uh, Universita here, and we should have no seam here. So, let's see what, what our answer key says. Okay, so uh, let's see. Where were we? As yeah, right here. Okay. Metakana uh, America eat ham no seam. Oh, look at this one. They added this in here. Bet autobus. They are traveling on the bus. Clear hobo. Now, uh, did was was it correct just to put no seam in there? I think so because you could say you don't have to add the extra. You know, in everyday vernacular, you don't have to add the extra, the type of motorized conveyance. Are you going by um, by taxi? Are you going by car? A lot of people just say, I'm going to go. But, uh, okay. Zeh, autobus, yashir. This is a direct. Uh, now, look at this. Who no seya? Okay. Uh, now, that's interesting there because I think I put no seam in there, and that's and this is correct. I, did, I forgot about the fact that it's a single bus, so it's not no seam. We're not talking about the two that are traveling on the bus. We're talking about the bus itself. Who no sea? Meha takana America zit. Let's see. Uh, now, I put the university in there from the university. Belonging to Tel Aviv. Okay, so uh, that's right, because technically... They had to probably walk to the bus station. And then what we're talking about a bus, it's going from the central station. Um at Takana Hamirkazit. Okay, Shell Tel Aviv. Uh La Takana Hamirkazit Shell. I got this right. Reho boat. All right. Well, uh, I learned a little bit there. I hope you guys did too. Okay, so now we're down to this last one here. Iran Vesuzi, what? Lech Hatsor, Erev Le Tel Aviv. Okay, I think that is, um, is that the leaving one? Le Hatsor, Erev Le Tel Aviv. Okay. Okay, Iran and Sudi, Susie, should I put no seam, uh, no seam in there? Are traveling? Let's see. Uh, no, 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 because this says to return to Tel Aviv tonight. So it has to be a wanting one. There's got to be, or it can be the can one. I bet you it's Yosim. 
ערן וסוזי יוצאים לעצור הערב לתל אביב. ערן וסוזי יוצאים לחצור הערב לתל אביב. Yeah, okay, can, okay, so I think יוצאים is in there. אוקיי, להצור הערב לתל אביב, אוקיי. הם וואט, בלנק, להצור עם יואב ומיקל. אוקיי, so this is, they are returning with יואב ומיקל. הם, I wonder if it's יוצאים again. הם יוצאים להצור עם יואב ומיקל. הם יוצאים לעצור עם יואב ומיכל. Uh, wait a minute, this יוצאים is they, they go out to stop. Wait a minute here. Um, הם יוצאים. Oh, Lehatsor. Okay, that's where that's where we messed up. No, no, still wrong. Oh, it's a uh Zayin. Yeah, they go back with Yoav and Miko. That sounds right. Okay, so I think this is Yotzim again, but I'll see if I got this right or wrong. Oh boy, uh, that messed up, didn't it? Okay, Yotzim. Okay, Ham Yotzim Lehatsur Im with Yoav Vamikal. Ham Yotzim Lehazor Im Yoav Umikal. And it's, it's Yoav Umikal. Notice that connecting Vav there. In this case, it's a shurik. Lehatsur uh, im Yoav Umikal. That's what it is. Hem yotzim lachazor im Yoav Umikal. Okay. All right. So we should have Yotzim and Yotzim, but we'll see what the answer key says. Oh, look at this. They've got Yokalim in there. Oh, look at this. Iran Vesuzi Zerachim. They want Lehatsur to return. Ha'erev. Uh, remember this Islam, it is two or four. They want to uh, return Ha'erev uh, to Tel Aviv. Okay, so let's. Iran Vesuzi Zerachim Lehatsur Ha'erev le Tel Aviv. Zerachim. Okay, uh, still not getting that right. And still not getting this right. Lehatsur. Oh, it's a hat. Okay, Ron and Susie have to return. To Tel Aviv tonight. Yeah, hot rev. Iran and Susie need to return to Tel Aviv. Sounds like Lehazor. So this is a Holem. I got to remember that. It's not Lehazor. It's Lehazor. Okay, so Iran and Susie are Rechim Lehazor. Aha, Erev, le Tel Aviv. Okay, so in the evening to Tel Aviv. All right. Ham Yokalim. Now this is, I got the wrong verb in there. 
הם יוכלים להסור עם יואב ומיקל. לחזור. They can return. הם יכולים לחזור עם יואב ומיכל. אוקיי, let's see. הם יכולים לחזור עם יואב ומיכל. אוקיי, הם יכולים. אוקיי, they can. That יכולים one is can. הם יכולים להסור, להסור, it's like a hat, you gotta put a little bit of a ח in there, עם יואב ומיקל, they can return with יואב and מיקל, okay, so that's what they put, so I got those two wrong, but I learned something, you know, you just keep working with the language, you're gonna get more wrong than right until, you know, you begin to, first you have to crawl before you walk, and then before you walk, you can, before you run, you can walk, you start walking. All right. Um, welcome, Lori. Good to see you. Working some more on this uh, program here. Uh, I hardly got any of these right, but I learned from the answer key. I got some of them right. Okay, now this... Um, we have Yashir. It means direct. This would be masculine singular. And then Yashira would be feminine singular direct. So it would be like a direct route. In other words, with a bus, in context of a bus, you would not, or in a, in a, in a airplane flight, you would not have any stops in between. It would, it would be a one-stop flight or a one a point A to point B without any stops. So that's direct. Okay, so that's the uh, implication of that. Uh, so, let's see here. Let's get to now number three. Basically, these are fill-in-the-blank completion. Iran Vesuzi blank lechazor. Okay, so they are returning ha'erev letel aviv. Okay, uh, so they, um, I wonder if it's the want one. They want to return in the evening to Tel Aviv, because that's where they started out. So I wonder if it is uh, Yochalim. Aran Vesuzi, Yochalim, Lehazor. Uh, I think it's the want one. Yotzim. Now nah, it's got to be the want one. Let's see. All right, let's let's uh, change this around. Yeah, how about that one? We use a uh, rotsim. They want to return. Let's see. To return the evening in the evening to Tel Aviv. Let's try that rotsim. Iran Vesuzi Rotsim Lchazor Ha'erev Let Tel Aviv. Okay, yeah, I think that'll work. Iran Vesuzi Rotsim Lchazor Ha'erev Let Tel Aviv. Iran Vesuzi Rotsim Lchazor Ha'erev Let Tel Aviv. I think it's going to be Rotsim in here. That has to do with wanting something. Okay, so Iran Vesuzi wrote seem lehatsur. This means to return. Aharev the evening. La Tel Aviv would be like to to Tel Aviv in the evening to return the evening. In other words, to basically this would be like putting this here. It would be like 
They want to return to Tel Aviv tonight. And that's how that hot rib would fit in there. Remember that the order is not exactly the same as in English. It's not a linear order in Hebrew. All right, I think that's right. Let's go here. Ham blank. Lehatsur. This is to return. Im. Yoav. Umikal. Okay, so they want to return with. Im. Yoav. Umikal. And this would be uh, Joab and Mikal. Uh, so. Um. I think that's the want one. They want to return, to return with him, Yotzim. Nope, it's not that one. It's not that one. What's the want one? Yes, that's got to be that... Uh, See, I, I, if I put Rotim there, I know they're going to have something else. They want to return with, they are going to return. What could be used in there? Oh, I bet you the can one. I bet you it's the can one. That's what it is. Let's take a look at this can. There it is right there. Yokalim. That's what it is. I think that's that's it. Let's get that back up there. I bet you it's Yokalim. Hem Yokalim Lehasor Im Yoav Umikal. Lehasor. Well, I tell you what, getting this thing to, uh, it forces you to pronounce it correctly, or you have to type it in. Umikal. <laughs> I actually have to type in Mikal's name because I'm not quite getting the pronunciation correct. That's still not it. It's Yokalim. Yokalim. There we go. And uh, let's see. They can return. They can. They can return. Lehasur with Yoav Umikal. Right? They can return. So I think that is Yochalim. We got a whole limb here. We got a Lamed. Okay, so him Yochalim, they can lehatsur return im with Yoav Umikal. Uh, with Joab and Michal. Uh, Michal is like da one of David's wives. Uh, uh, she was the one that uh, she was his first wife. Uh, so that's they they have a lot of biblical names in in uh, Hebrew. I recognize that from the Book of Kings. I don't know if I would ever name my daughter Michal or not. It's got kind of a bad rep, but anyway. All right, so. It can be kind of like naming a daughter Jezebel. It's really a bad rep there, you know? Uh, yeah, help us. Yeah, Ron Basuzi. Now, uh, I think I got that right. Zerahim. Actually, I think I put, I put the want one there. And they put need. Lehatsur. I rib la Tel Aviv. They want to return uh, to Tel Aviv tonight. They want, and so basically, uh, you know, because this is, even though this is out of order, it really, you should, in your mind, you should think that belongs there. Ham Yokalim, they can, La Hatsur, Im, they can return. Let's see, they, um, with, they can return with Yoav Umikal. Okay, so. That finishes that part.
All right, so that that's that. I tell you what, I spent a lot of time on those uh, Hashelamut, which is completion. Hashelamut means completion. And, uh, you know, it really forced my brain to, to work. Okay, so now we have some instruction part here. Uh, now, it looks to me like uh, they've got Karov uh, Rahok. So this would be like close and far. Karov Rahok. Yeah, close and far, near and far. Okay, so uh, Karov means close to something. And Rahok means far. Okay, uh, so uh, now what they're going to do, what they're going to do here is they're going to give us the masculine singular, the feminine singular, the mixed plural, and the feminine plural. Uh, of each word, because remember the gender and number of every adjective and every verb has to match. So, or the noun, uh, the noun and verb has uh, they they have to match. There's, uh, so, and then we've got the masculine singular for rahok, and then we've got rahoka. That would be uh, if it's talking about a female gender being far. Rahokim would be like mixed plural be far, and then Rahakok would be like all feminine. Whatever you're talking about, if it's feminine gender, it's far. All right. So uh, Karov is close, Rahok is far, may be used as adverbs as well as adjectives. As adverbs, Karov, uh, Karov and Rahok in their singular masculine form Follow a verb with which they do not necessarily agree in gender and number. Well, that's interesting to think about. So basically, um, that defaults to masculine singular. So it's not going to, if, if, if it's an adverb, if it's an adverb, it stays in the masculine singular default setting. So how about this? Ham lo garim rehok. So they uh, do not live far. Now, it's not Rahokim, it's just Rahok. It defaults because uh, it's just an adverb. All right, how about this one? Asifria, that's the library. Nimsa et is located. Uh, mamash Karov. I, get there. I forget what that Mamash is. Asifria, Nimsa et, Mamash Karov. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, so basically mamash means like, uh, it has to do with like very, it's adding to it. Mamash. Want to see? Yeah, like it means really. Mamash. It means really, very, uh, you know, it's an adverb, it means really. So uh, the Cipri, uh, the library is located far, um, is really, or really, Karov is uh, close, it's really close. Okay, so, uh, so that's a good thing. You don't have to walk too far to get to the library. All right, as adjectives, they follow a noun with which they agree in gender and number. Okay, so... As adjective, they follow. Okay, so they have to, if they're used as an adjective, they has to agree. So habatim, uh, rechokim. Let's see, met old. Okay, so the houses. Uh, this this is uh, this may always like vary. It adds emphasis. So the houses are very far. I think that's what that's saying. Habatim, rechokim, met old. Yeah. Okay, so the houses are very far. So basically, uh, if it's an adjective, that's uh, descriptive, uh, re, re, uh, have to do, do uh, respective of the noun, which would be habatim, the houses. Uh, it, it has to agree in gender and number. And so habatim, we've got a mixed plural there. 
So then that's why you see the im ending on uh, rehokim. The adjective then agrees with the noun in gender and number. All right. And then me'od is, I think, the adverb, but it's like very. All right. So let's take a look at this. Ainat v'hagit. Hen. Now, these are two girls. How do we know that? Because it's using hen, which is they, feminine plural. Uh, let's see. Chavarot, they are friends. Let's see, uh, coral vote. So that means they are far away friends. That would be long distance friends. Ainet vehagit hen habarot coral vote. Wait a minute. I thought that. I thought that. Okay, uh, I was wrong about that. Karov is close. They are close friends. Well, that's not having to do with distance. It has to do with their relationship. Isn't that interesting how how the that this can be used? That's far. This is close. And that's what they've got there, Karavo. They are close friends. Ainet of the Hagit. Hen Havarot Karovot. Okay, so if you're close friends, if you're a woman and you're close friends with another woman, this was this is how you would uh, for the third person how it would be described. All right, to express relative proximity, use Karov Lamed. Look at that. Rahok Mem. And so this would be like far from and close to. Okay, that makes sense. Rehovot Lo Rocha. So let's see, that's the city. It's not, and so it's Rehovot, the city in Israel, which is about 20 kilometers from Tel Aviv, I think. Uh, Roka is not far. Meh Tel Aviv from Tel Aviv. Okay. Rehovot Lo Nimsa Et. Okay, so Rehovot, that's the city, is not located. Is not located. Look at that Nimsa Et. Uh, Rehok far. Meh Tel Aviv from Tel Aviv. Okay, that makes sense. Uh and that Rahok is far, right? Okay, yes. Okay, so that's what's going on there. Anaknu Garim Karov. Okay, we are dwelling Karov close. Let's see here. La Campus. Campus would be like on campus. In other words, the uh, context would be like university. So Anaknu Garim Karov La Campus. They're dwelling on campus. All right, so that, that makes sense. That makes sense. I wish I had a timer on this thing. Let me see here. Set meeting timers. That's what I did. I set a meeting timer. There it is right there. One hour. Well, I need to go a little bit further because I had a like a, a five-minute break. I think what I'm going to do here is... Um, Let's see what we got left here. I'm, I'm thinking we've got another couple classes here to get through all this stuff. Okay, so now we are on Targil Echot, which would be exercise one. And then what are we doing? Hashalem. We This is completion. Uh, we need to complete with what? Karov Lamed, which would be uh, close to, or Rahok Mem, which would be Far from. So this is pretty straightforward. Kara et hamishpatim. So write the sentences. Bekol ram. Okay, so um, in, I forget about what that bekol ram is. Kara et hamishpatim bekol ram. Yeah, out loud. Kara et hamishpatim bekol ram. Okay, read the sentences out loud. Well, I'm already doing that for everything. Okay, so uh, let's see here. This is Islet. That is like E-I-L-A-T. That's the name of a city in Israel. Blank Tel Aviv. Now that's no, so basically they're gonna make us look at a map to figure out where these cities are. <laughs> so is is Islet close to Tel Aviv or is it far? 
Let's see here. Pilot Israel is close to Tel Aviv. Let's see if I can get Google to tell me. How about we do, um, how far is Islet from Tel Aviv? Boy, they really make us think here, don't they? Okay, it's four hours and 12 minutes from Islet to Tel Aviv. That seems like it's kind of far to me. So... What should we put in here? We need to put um, Islet Rahok. Yeah, Rahok Mem. I bet you it's going to be Rahok Mem Tel Aviv. It's far from. Okay, so Islet Rahok Mem. Uh, so that's far from, and then Tel Aviv. I bet you that mem would, would sit right next to that Tel Aviv. So I let Rahok mem, me Tel Aviv, me Tel Aviv, okay. It's far from Tel Aviv. Let's, let's see if they agree. Right, I think what we need to do is knock some of these out. That's the one we need right there. Yes, I'm right. I like these easier ones. I let, oh, I messed up. I forgot about it. it has to agree in gender and number. So they use Rahoka Met Tel Aviv. Okay. Now I'm, now I figure it out. And that's, it's so hard. You have to remember it's gender and number that you have to figure out here. All right, so now let's let's try. Maybe I can get maybe I can get one of these right. <laughs> yeah, help me. All right, so uh, let's go to number two. Rehovot Lo Nimsa Et Rehovot is not located blank. Aval Zarik Linsoa Lasham Beutubus. Okay, so but. You need to travel Lesham to there, the autobus, which is on the on the bus. So Rehov is not is is not located. I bet you it would be far. But I don't think we're gonna use this mem or this lamet in this case. I think in this context it's gonna be uh if it's not located, it might be Rahok. And so I bet you it's Rahoka. Rahul vote lo nimset Rahoka. Yeah. It's not far. I don't think we're, I, don't, I don't see how we're going to use the lama or the mem in this case. Okay, so why am I putting Rehoka in there instead of Rehok? Because all cities are feminine gender. It's just a default. They are feminine gender. So that's why we're using Rehoka and not Rehok. Because Rehok, for the, the, the descriptive word that means far, is it, and its default is masculine singular, but we're talking about Rehovot, which is a city. And then aval is a rich, but you need uh linsoa. Let me put that in there. Uh aval zarich linsoa lasham boutabus. Zarich. There we go. Okay, so why do I choose is not far? Because they say but. So it would be like saying, um, you still need to travel by bus, but it's not far. Okay, so I think that's what we got there. Roka. And 
And oh, look at this. Now, why would they put Rahok in there? Uh, Rehovot Lo Nim Set. Okay, so why are they putting Ro? Oh, I know why, because in this case, it's an adverb. Ah, uh, remember that? An adverb, you don't use the gender and number rule. That's right, adverb. All right. Well, I learned something there. I got to really pay attention grammatically. Is this a noun? Is it a verb or is it an adverb? If it's a noun or a verb, it has to agree in gender and number. If it's an adverb, uh-uh. It defaults to its masculine singular tense. Okay, I got it. Maybe I can get one of these right one of these days. All right, so uh, Atem Garim, they are dwelling blank. Uh, this looks like the park. And I wonder if it's, are they dwelling? It's a question. Are they are they dwelling close to the park? Ezo Yafe. Uh, I think that's nice or something like that. Ezo Yafe. Yeah. Yeah. So that's beautiful. How beautiful. So I bet you if people are, are dwelling close to the park, that's a nice thing, I think. So, um, so uh, Ata Garim, are they dwelling? Now, is it going to be an adverb? This is where I got to figure out, is it a noun? Let's see. Uh, there's the noun, they. There's the verb, dwelling. All right, I'm going to put uh, close in there. The only way I, I have to figure this out is to trial and error. I think I think the I think this is an adverb. Atem garin karov a park. Are they dwelling close to the park? Azo yafi yafi which is B. That's beautiful. Okay, so let's let's see if it's Karo. Oh, look at this. They put the Lamed there. Okay, so I still messed up. Atem Garim. Oh, that's right. Uh, uh, I just, in my mind, I thought, okay, two something, but there's not an actual Lamed there. So it's uh, Atem Garim Karov La Park. Okay. Uh, but I but I was right about Karov. It's, it's not, it's, it does not have to match Atem. Okay, so I just forgot the lum at one of these days. I'll get this right, nailed down. And this is why I do these painstaking exercises, because there is no way to get it correct without the trial and error process of doing. Okay, so let's see. Hakolanoa, that's the cinema, I think. Hakolanoa, blank. Oh, it has to be as um, I call it Noah something, uh, very much something. I F Shar Leleket Lesham Baragel. Okay, so to travel to there. I. Efshar leleket lesham beregel. Okay. Efshar leleket lesham beregel. It's e, e efshar, which is you can't go there on foot. E efshar, you uh, efshar is. Uh, Can't go there on foot. So that means it's far, right? It's very far. So um, I wonder if it would be Rahok Me'od. Now the question is, 
We're talking about a cinema. And I think the cinema is... Question is, is this an adverb? I think this is the adverb here, me'od. So I am thinking that I need to put rahoka there. No. The cinema is very far. Akolnoa. Akolnoa rahok meod. Okay, so it's not rahoka. It's rahok. Wow, I tell you what, they really make me think about grammar here. This is adverb. That's got me puzzled here. But that's that is what uh Google Translate says. But that's what that's what is there, I'm pretty sure. So it's ha kol noa rahok meod. So number four. Yep, there it is. Ha kol noa rahok meod. So the, the cinema is rahok far very much. Rahok meod. Uh, I f shar leleket lasham bargel. So, uh, but you cannot go by foot to there on foot. You can't go by foot. Uh, all right. Slow going. Okay. So, um, now number five, uh, which would be chamesh, right? So we've got a ha. That's one. Shtaim two, Shloshim three, or Shlosh rather. Uh, Shtaim is two, Shlosh, and then Arba is four, five is Chamesh. Okay, so I, I like to practice my numbers when I see these. All right, Ainet, uh, let's see, Ainet Yoshvet, Ainet is sitting. I bet you it's close to David. Hem, Havarim, Tovim. They are very good friends. If you're a very good friend with somebody, you want to sit close to them, right? So I bet you it's uh, this Ainet. This I, I, I'm trying to remember if this is a girl or a boy. Ah, it's a girl, because look at that. It's Yoshvet. That definitely tells us that Ina is a girl. So what we need is, um, I bet you it's Karova Lamed. Go for the gusto here. Uh, Ina is sitting. Close, and then we need a lamed here. Led David, close to David. Now, why would I put, why would I match gender? Is that an adverb? Oy vey, when am I going to get this figured out? Ham havarim tovim. Oh, I'm just going to put uh, uh, karova because I'm going to try to match Ainet. But if it's not, then, I, then I'm just going to default on this stuff here because I'm not quite clear about how does the adverb fit in there. Ah, oh, I was wrong again. I should have gone with my first impulse. Einet Yoshevet Karov le David. Okay, so remember, this is an adverb. We put it in this form, it's an adverb. And that does not match gender or number of Ainet, because Ainet is a girl. How do we know that? Because we've got Yoshvet, and that is the feminine form. So that definitely has to match the personal uh, name of someone. Okay, so uh, Ham Havarim Tobim. All right, so maybe I can figure this out now. Seems like they're using all adverbs on this thing.
As adverbs, karov and rahok in their singular masculine forms follows a verb with which they do not necessarily agree in gender. No, that's the whole point of this section. So I think maybe this time I'm going to get it right. Now, anaknu, uh, let's see, lomdim bayahad. So we are studying together. Anaknu lomdim bayahad. Anaknu lomdim bayahad. Yeah. Okay, of all, not new, but we, lo, hovering, but we are not friends. <laughs> we are not friends. Uh, and, and, and in this case, it would be close friends. Okay, so we are not friends. We are not close friends. I need to look something up here. Yeah, it's a word or phrase that modifies or qualifies an adjective, verb or other adverb in a word group. Okay, so that is, yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be. Okay, so I'm going to put um, Karov in there. It does not have to match Anaknu or Harvarim. So, Anaknu uh, Lomdim Bayahad. So, we are studying together. Of all Anaknu Lo Havarim Karo, but we are not close friends. All right. So, let's hope I can get this one right. Oh, no. I just can't win. I just cannot win. Anaknu Lomdim Bayahad. We are studying together. Of all Anaknu Lo Havarim. And then look at this. Carol Beam. Why they? Why can't I get this right? Yeah, help me. I'm in trouble here. Of all we, but we are not friends close. But in this case, this is this cannot be an adverb. This has to be an this is an adjective. That's why. Because it's descriptive of the type of friend. That's why. I don't know why I couldn't figure that out. All right, number seven. Let's see. What do we got here? Mirko Bolo Nosea. This these look like proper names to me. Marco. Polo. <laughs> Marco Polo. That's what that is. <laughs> Marco Polo. Why would they put that in there? Okay. Is traveling. No say I is traveling. La Art Sot. See, traveling to the city. La Art. I think that's uh, traveling. Marco Polo. No say La Art Sot. Yeah. Marco Polo no sea Marco Polo travels to far countries. He travels far away. So I remember learning about Marco Polo. He went to China. He wrote about how China, the Chinese emperor at the time, had a literal dragon that breathed fire. Um, this is how we know that dragons are real. Uh, along with uh, in uh, Bell and the Dragon, that's an apocryphal uh, work that says the King of Babylon actually had a real dragon, too. Anyway, um, so he travels to far countries. Okay. Um, what was that? All right. Uh, what I need to do is silence this thing. Do not disturb. There we go. All right. So Marco Polo travels to 
to countries from, it has to be like from far away. So it's going to be this one here. Merahok, from far. And I think this is definitely an adverb. That's right, because Marco Polo, he came from Europe, and he went all the way to China, and he wrote about Chinese, the Chinese culture at the time, and his works were really quite a hit in Europe in the Middle Ages. Okay, uh, let's see. I think it's Mehrahok. Let's let's take a look at our answer key here. Yeah, help me. Give me one, please, Father. <laughs> Oy vey, oy vey, oy vey. Marco Polo no sea le art soot. And look at this, they've got rojo, uh, rojo, rojo coat. Two, uh, this would be two faraway countries. That's right, because it's a descriptive of the two countries is a noun. Remember, it has to match with a noun in... I really need to work more on this, I guess. This is really, a, uh, it's hard for me somehow my brain is that. It's probably easy for most people, but for me it's just, it's hard. I gotta get this worked out. I gotta figure out what the, the adjective is, what the verb is, what the noun is, and what the adverb is. All right, number eight. I'm a slow learner. Aoto Shalanu, this belonging to us, Gadol Va Yerok, is big and far. I think that Haoto is um, it. I mean, maybe it's it. Haoto Shalanu Gadol Va Yerok. Oh, it's autobus. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Our car. It has to do with automobile. That's right. Auto. So that's that's car. Car. Uh, belonging to us. Gadol the Yerok. This is a color here, green. Auto Shalanu. Our car is traveling. And then they've got a, a clue over here. Uh, Ra. Let's see, Ra uh, Amod 40, Arbaim. Ra uh, Amod Arbaim. Re'e Amod Arbaim. Re'e Amod Arbaim. Re'e Amod Arbaim. This says C page 40. See page 40. Okay, so where's page 40 at? Uh, uh, why would I go all the way to page 40? I don't want to. That's the, we're already at 146. So, um, uh, Oto uh, Shalanu Nosea is traveling. So it's going to be far. So I'm going to say, um, I'm just going to look at the answer key on that because I'm not going to, uh, this is hard, it would be hard for me to get all the way to page 40 because I, I have to do a scrolling forever. But let's look at number eight and see what they've got. Haoto Shalan no Gadol of a Yeroke. Okay, so uh, the car belonging to us is big and green. Haoto Shalan no Nosea and and Rahok is traveling far. Okay. Let's go back up to number nine. They like to throw those little numbers at me every once in a while. Okay, so heha dare shali. So this this is my room, the room belonging to me. Low blank. Heha dare shall dan. It's not. I bet. I bet it's just not far. It's not far. And would it be far from? Mehader, uh, the the uh, the room belonging to Dan. So let's put Rahok Mem. We'll put a Mem in there. Mehader, Mehader. 
So hader shali, so my room, lo rehok, is not far, me hader shel hadan. Ah, uh, I see, ha hadarim, wait a minute, ha hadarim, the, the rooms belonging to us, shalanu, um, are close. How about karo? Now, the question is, yeah, an adverb is, yeah, this is in the singular anyway. And hahavarim shalanu, our rooms, the adverb is that, remember that it's a, uh, this, I think, if it's saying the rooms are close, that's descriptive of them. So I think it's going to be uh, Carl Veen. Let's see if I can get that right now. Maybe I can finally figure this out. Number nine. Yes, I was right. Finally got one. Hahader Shali. Lo Rahok Mem. That's right. Rahok Mehader. Okay, so... It's not far, mehader, from the room, shall dam, belong to dam. Ahadar, ahad, uh, see, ahad, uh, let's see. Hey, hadarim, hey, hadarim, shalanu. So the rooms belonging to us, there it is, karovim. All right, I think I'm finally starting to get this because I remembered that that is descriptive of the room. So that's an adjective. All right, so adjectives, the, the number and... Uh, and gender have to match. All right. Yeah, help me. Feels good to at least get one of these right. <laughs> All right. So this is a question. This this stands for, um, let's see, what is that? A she'elot is a question, I think. And a uh, teshu vote is the answer. And 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 the A literally is like a uh, abbreviation for she'elot. And the, the bet is a is an abbreviation for tissue vote. So you've got an A, you've got a shello, which is a question, and you've got a tissue vote, which is a answer. Okay, so what is the shello, which is the question, and it's represented by A or an Aleph. Tel Aviv blank. I uh, see, uh, Tel Aviv is what? Yerushalayim is far. Is Tel Aviv far? Is it is it close to Yerushalayim? Okay, so how far is how far is Tel Aviv to Jerusalem? One hour, two minute. That's not far. So the question I think is going to have to be: uh, Is it close? Tel Aviv, um, Karov Lamed to Jerusalem. Let's see here. Is Tel Aviv close? The question is, and we got to put a lamet here. Lee Rushalim. Is it? Is it? Now Tel Aviv is a city. I think I'm going to put a hey here. Karova Lee Rushalim. Is Tel Aviv close to Jerusalem? Answered low. Hen, it is far. Lo, hen. Uh, so, uh, ra oh, now why would they say it's far if it's only an hour away? Oh, I know, because this, this is far from. That's what needs to go in there. Okay, so I got this wrong here. Let's fix that. Instead of putting close to, we need to put far from. All right, so Rahoka, Rahoka. What am I doing here? We're still messing up here. We need to spell this correctly, don't we? It's going to be Rahoka. Because Tel Aviv is a town, remember? And it has to match number and gender. 
So, uh, and then it's going to be a mem here, Mi Yerushalayim, from Jerusalem. The question is, is Tel Aviv uh, far from Jerusalem? And the answer is low. They are, and I think this is just going to be plain Karo. They are, let's see, they are, so, so is it descriptive? If they is reference to Tel Aviv and Jerusalem, so I, I'm wondering if I should make this uh, Karo vote. I think I'm going to put that in there like that and just... Okay, so so we've got uh, Rahoka and then Karo vote. Let's see, that's that's number 10. Okay, so yes, I got this right. Tel Aviv, Rahoka, Me Yerushalayim. Is Tel Aviv far from Jerusalem? And the answer is, oh, I got it right. Lohan Karo vote. Because um, it is... Uh, uh, so uh, I think I'm finally starting to wrap my mind around this. Uh, in this case, it's an adjective because the hen is the pronoun. It says they, and that's in reference to Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. And so if you say they, you're describing they, and the they is close. So that's an ad that is not an adverb. It's a adjective, I think. All right. Uh, okay. So I, I feel a little better about that. I got two out of 10. But the, the, the whole point of these exercises is to force your mind to think. Is it a noun? Is it a verb? Is it a adjective? Or is it a adverb? And so it's like, I feel like I'm back in grammar school. Mm -hmm.